hi there everyone welcome to engineering with preetam this video is continuation of setting up your workspace in pity secure parametric for optimal productivity in our last two videos we saw how you can customize this ribbon interface quick access bar how you can set up shortcut buttons how you can customize this mini toolbar how we can improve the model display we also played with the sketcher setting we also saw themes and so on in this video we will specifically focus on config.pro the config.pro is a customization file in ptc creo parametric which exists in file option and you can see it here in the last configuration editor that lets you create custom setting and use those setting permanently so let's start with our first setting which is how we can set up a default template because in lot of region including india we do not prefer inches pound second we prefer millimeter newton second or millimeter kg second template if you do not choose them manually by default you will see your model will be in inches and for a lot of users where the inches pound second is not the preferred measurement system it is headache because we always need to make some extra clicks and those clicks are unchecking this default template and clicking on okay and then from here manually choosing these template every time so we will see how we can avoid these extra steps that we need to perform every time so without further ado let's get started so first of all let's click here on file and option then configuration editor now the setting that you need to look for to customize your part template is template solid part now simply click here and click on browse let's say you have created your own template where you might have added your company name here or you might have added few more feature you can choose that template directly but let's say you want to use the standard template that is already available in that case you can go inside c program file and search for ptc creo installation so it will be with the name of ptc then you need to go inside your ptc creo version then you need to look for common file folder here you need to find template folder so just open it and there we go here we will find all the templates available now based on your need you can choose templates so in my case i would like to go with millimeter newton second part solid or else i can choose one more with absolute accuracy or else i can choose millimeter newton second part solid model template with relative accuracy you also have a option to choose millimeter kg second with absolute accuracy so i would say that based on your need you can choose any one i think millimeter kg second makes sense for me so i'm going to choose this one and then i'm going to click on open similarly in order to set the assembly template you just need to click here on browse and then choose assembly template so here you may find assembly template as well so here let's find assembly template so these are assembly template millimeter newton second asm design with absolute accuracy so the one that i am looking for is millimeter kg second design template with absolute accuracy so i think this one will work for me <clears throat> so i'm going to choose this one and then i'm going to hit okay similarly in case of design um let's say you have your own design template you may choose it so let me click here on browse and from here you can define let's say you want to define a4 as a design template you can do that similarly for tolerance standard i'm not going to go with nc um because this is specifically us standard let me choose iso similarly for welding ui standard i'm going to choose iso now for date format also you may see month day and year which is typical us way to do it so i do not like this way what i want is day month and year so i'm going to cut this month from here and then i'm going to paste it after my day so this one meets my requirement 
similarly for unit mass let's make it in gram or kg pro unit length let's make it in mm so in this way guys we can customize it now here we also have this file which is drawing setup file which we're gonna take a look at sometime um in my particular case i have created a folder named as creo standard and here i have created every settings so if you already have created .dtl file you may choose and utilize that one in my case i have not created it yet but not to worry guys i'm gonna show you how to create this one as well so this setting is specifically for drawing setup which we will see after we save this master configuration file which is known as config.pro now let me click here on export configuration to save these settings for permanently and then let me hit ok now let me click one more ok and that's how guys we can save this setting for permanently now um, let me click here on new and now let's keep it as it is and there we go guys here we can see on the bottom message bar it is now utilizing solid part mmks template which we wanted to that's how guys we can define template permanently in ptc creo parametric now let me go again to file option and let's say you do not find this option which is template solid part you can always click on find and then you may type here template space solid and now you may click on find now and that's how guys you can find this setting now the last thing that i'm gonna explain in this workspace video how to set up drawing configuration file to show that um let me quickly create a small object let's say rectangle So let me click here on drawing now let me quickly place a general view maybe the top one and now I want to annotate it so let me quickly add dimension here and if i see we do not see any tolerance so that is the problem here in order to fix it we can click on file then click on prepare drawing properties and then you need to click on change to first option so this is the pro detail file that i was talking about which we need to set up in config.pro so the first thing i'm gonna do is i'm going to enable tolerance display which by default it's set to no now i'm gonna make it yes let, similarly let's say you do not want to use this particular font so you may able to customize font as well here um which is let's say default annotation font and then you can define its value here like this you may see several other options available here let's say you work in third, third angle projection so you can also define projection type here and by default it is third angle let's say you want to make it first angle so like this guys we can customize our detail file and then we need to save it i'm gonna save it here in my documents and now in order to save these settings permanently what i need to do is let me just close it and go to again file option configuration editor and now i need to locate the detail file that we just created so it was in my document and here we can see in our working directory this dot detail file we can save it we, we can locate it and then click on ok so in this way guys whenever i will go next time in drawing we always will find the tolerance enabled now we need to just put some values the way we want it to be and here we are seeing one more thing which is comma so let's go back here and file prepare drawing properties 
detail option change and now here somewhere um, we need to find decimal marker and we need to define its value as period let's apply and click on close now here we can see it is now being changed to point which we would like to see also here we can see color of these entities is white which is not visible to eyes so i can go here file and then option then system appearance and here in graphics i can you know choose geometry to be black now here we go here we can see now the geometry or the model is clearly visible in this video we saw how we can create custom config.pro how we can set up default template we also saw how we can customize drawing setup file and save these value permanently one thing you always need to keep in mind in order to save drawing configuration file you need to save this file which is .dtl and then you need to locate or specify it inside config.pro which we can do by going file option and then defining the path so this was the last tutorial on setting up your workspace in ptc creo parametric i hope guys you find all these three video helpful and informational in setting up your ptc creo parametric environment if yes then don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel for such content and i will see you soon in my next video till then take care and bye bye